So for the third episode, let's time travel and see how phones would look like. Hello there, I'm Mohamed Momen, your host, and let me start with a question. Do you like the phone in your hand? I know you are used to it, but look at it for 15 seconds. It's a black hole screen. That's it. If you were born before 2000, you would remember the screen would be less than 25% of the phone. There were a lot of design back then, but why they changed? Phones are small computers and have the same purpose, to help us achieve results more easily and solve more complicated problems. First phones were exactly that, phones only without wire. They were huge and expensive. But like all of the technology, with more and more people wanting one, they start to become more user-friendly and cheap. Later, we add more functions like small games, calculator, SMS, and phone book. So now, it's not just a phone for calling, it was way more than that. And that's the start of smartphone. Yes, they were not smart at all but they got us to use them more than just for calling. Fast forward, internet become the thing, we have 2G and 3G, and phones become more and more with color screens and more apps. But the iPhone changed the game. Before, we needed keys to work with phones, and now we don't need them anymore. So 25% jump to 50. Half of our phones are screen now. And believe it or not, that's it for phone development. The touch screen got better, we have better cameras, better operating system, better apps, and we can see that's it, just getting better. Even the folding phones are just bigger screen and nothing more. So now our question, what is the future of smartphone? Well, that depends on how long in the future you would ask. We are speaking for the next big change, like when we didn't need the keys anymore. For that matter, the nearest tech that we have is VR headsets. In VR, we still have the screen, but interactively. The device will collect your movement data and use them to interact with you. That movement can be your head moving for changing the view and make you feel you are in another place. So with that, you would not need the keys and also a touch screen. But here's a race of technology, let me explain. We can have a sort of glove or other wearable for controlling screen that can be glasses, more on that later, but what if we don't need any input at all? Reading mind becomes more and more real every year. So in the future, we can have a chip in our brain or a headset that can read what we want to do and show it on screen. But on the other hand, VR headsets are not comfortable enough. Yet. They should be a lot smaller and lighter that can be used as a daily driver instead of phone. And how is that possible? You can't make chipsets necessary for a device with functionality as a smartphone that small. But with 5G and power of internet, we can do something else. Cloud gaming is growing every day now. And that makes me think, what if we can stream our phone OS with a cloud system with minimum space necessary? This way, we can have smaller chips and motherboard also with new wireless charging tech that show we can charge our phone with more than 50 meters away the need of battery can be reduced think if we have a network of charger across the town like mobile network that way we can actually make something like a phone with size and weight of glasses so here's the race if mind reading technology can beat the internet and battery charging tech needed for glasses and smartphone. If mind reading can make it just in time, we can have glasses and controlling it with our brain. That would be dream until we can install apps 
in our brain that I will make an episode on it soon make sure to subscribe so you won't miss that if my reading can beat the glass technology we would have computers and smartphone with might control it's a bit unlikely considering the situation these two texts are right now but if that happened we would have a time period with screen no keyboard or mouse and even touch screen and if that happens it's more than likely that we can send signal to our brain as well and making glasses kind of obsolete but what if we don't have mind reading technology in time what if the glasses are here before that cameras got better at recognizing movement but that would be weird and not user friendly like what we have with google glasses we need sensors in our hands that connect to the glasses imagine that you can type on your leg or on the table with the AR tech built into the glasses that show you the keyboard for me that can make sense a kind of a glove or even a finger band to connect to the glasses and they are connected to the cloud servers for being small but that all depends on how long it will take for us to be able to read and understand our brain so there it is that's what i think would be the future of smartphone thanks a lot for watching us until the end if you disagree with anything leave a comment down below if you like this episode leave a like if you don't press dislike and i will see you in the next episode goodbye